Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na Mjeshi Mkuu wa Majeshi yote ya Ulinzi. April 9th, 2013, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta was inaugurated and sworn in as the fourth president and commander-in-chief of the Defense Forces at Moi International Sports Complex in Kasarani. Upanga iyo ishara ya kwamba amekuwa amirijeshi mkuu wa majeshi ote ulinzi. His Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, became the first president to be elected under the new constitution 2010 and later re-elected in 2017 for the second and final term in office. I undertake today to be the custodian of the dreams of all and to be the keeper of the aspirations of those who voted for me and those who did not. From the onset of his tenure, President Uhuru Kenyatta focused on, among other things, national security and defense of Kenya's territorial integrity. Two years before he ascended into office, Kenyan forces had entered Somalia territory in pursuit of Al-Shabaab terrorists who had staged many deadly attacks inside Kenya. That incursion, the first of its kind in the country's military history, posed a security challenge not just for the soldiers, but also for the civilians in Kenya, who ran the risk of being targeted by retaliatory terrorist attacks. The entry of the Kenya troops in Amisom gave fresh impetus to the mission and single-handedly liberated Kismayu, the main city in southern Somalia, which was the terrorist stronghold. Kama sio nyinyi kwa hapa wengi wenu mwaelewa matatizo ambayo hao wana shabab wametuletea kule nyumbani kuja kwenu hapa kumeokoa maisha ya wenzenu wa Kenya wengi sana na wa Kenya washukuru yale ambayo In other peace support operations, Kenya has re-engineered its participation in peacekeeping through a more focused approach. Currently, Kenya is participating in many UN missions with a quick reaction force as part of the MONUSCO. At the same time, Kenya is preparing to deploy a signals unit to provide communication link to the MONUSCO force headquarters. Most recently, the Commander-in-Chief approved the deployment of the East African Community Regional Force that shall be deployed in the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. The regional force will work with local provincial authorities to support an orderly and permanent disarmament process. As the operations progressed, KDF troops then required to be well equipped to undertake their mandate. Over the last decade, the Kenya Defense Forces KDF has recorded tremendous expansion and modernization under the stewardship of President Uhuru Kenyatta as the Commander-in-Chief. We will not only continue to give whatever support that we can in terms of equipment, firepower, both air, land and sea, but also in doing whatever we can to continually also improve the welfare of the KDF soldier. In tow with modernization, KDF saw an expansion through recruitment and installations of new establishments to the Kenya and the UK, which further received full opera power. Cognizant of this fact, President Kenyatta, as the Commander-in-Chief, 
paid a close attention to ensuring that the capacity of the Kenya Defence Forces is built beyond defence of Kenya's borders to playing a greater role in national development. With time, the role of defence in national development became evident. As a result, the Kenya Defence Forces have been involved in numerous activities that have seen it interact with the citizenry and has in turn boosted trust and confidence of the civilians in the institution of the military operations. In 2017, the government embarked on national developments under the Big Four Action Plan. We want to put enough food on our tables and we want a lower cost of living. I have come up with four responses to these concerns and I call them the Big Four. Food security, affordable housing, manufacturing and affordable health care. And Uhuru Gardens Museum, and monument that will not only showcase and preserve the country's heritage but also display the evolution of KDF through the decades. The leadership and guidance by His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta has propelled and boosted military capabilities and sharpened the arrowhead to effectively serve the nation. Your Excellency Sir, we at the Kenya Defence Forces salute you today for the premier milestones, immense support, guidance and transformative leadership of the Kenya Defence Forces towards a premier, credible and mission-capable force deeply rooted in professionalism. And for you, KDF, Bongera kwa kupenda inchienu. God bless our Defence Forces and God bless Kenya. Asante ni sana.